To get a feel for what FlexSim Healthcare can do, I'm going to demonstrate how to build a simple model. This tutorial is small so that you can complete it using the demo version of FlexSim HC. The explanations are broken up into three videos. Video 1, this video, will show you how to create a model layout, which is the layout of your office and the number of staff. In video 2, I'll show you how to model patients being treated at your facility. In video 3, we'll look at a working model and analyze the model using charts and graphs. For this tutorial, we are going to model an urgent care facility. The first task is to lay out the office and staff. To do that, it helps to describe the who, what, and where events of the office. In this office, the patient enters the office, registers at the registration desk with the receptionist, waits in the waiting room for a nurse, gets vitals taken in a triage room by the nurse, has a consultation in a patient room with a doctor, is discharged and exits the office. From this list, we can see the objects we need in the office, a registration desk, a waiting room, a triage room, a patient room, and of course, the entrance and exit. We can also see the staff that we need in the office, a receptionist, a nurse, and a doctor. To add objects to the model, first click on Open Library. According to our list, we first need an entrance, which is a patient arrivals. We add this by clicking on the item in the library and then clicking on the model view. We also need a waiting room, which is a patient queuing object. Next, we'll put in the reception desk, which is a patient processing object. Patient processing is used any time a staff member is interacting with a patient, in this case, the receptionist. The most common place for staff-patient interaction is in the patient room, which is why this object looks like a bed by default. If you double-click on the bed and select the drop-down next to shape, you'll see that there are several choices for the look of this object. For the registration desk, we'll choose registration. The next room is the triage room. Remember, this is where the nurse interacts with the patient, so again, we need a patient processing object. Double-click and change the shape to triage. Now we need a patient room, where the doctor will consult with the patient, another patient processing object. This time, the bed is the shape we want. Most offices have several patient rooms, so we'll add a second by clicking again. Finally, we'll add the exit. With the objects in place, it's now time to add the office staff. All staff members are contained in the staff group object. Our first staff member is a receptionist. Click on staff group and then click on the model view next to the registration desk. The default image for a staff member is a nurse, so let's double click on it and change the shape to clerk. Next, we'll add the nurse, but where should we put her? When the model is running, staff members can move anywhere they are needed, but the starting spot you choose is the place they'll return to whenever they are not needed, so it makes sense to place them in an area such as a back work area or a break room. Now we'll add the doctor by adding another staff group and changing the shape to physician. If the office has more than one doctor, we could add more by clicking add staff, but for this model, we only need one. The model layout is now complete. Watch the next video to see how to add patients.